So I think if I uh, sit here in early 2021 and think, what are the areas of prostate cancer research that I think show most excitement or most potential in the next five years? I think I will clearly put at the top of the list uh, radio ligand therapy. So I think while we have seen quite amazing progress in metastatic prostate cancer over the past 10 years, uh, a lot of it has been based around similar things, similar themes, um, androgen deprivation therapy uh, supplemented by AR targeted therapies, uh, for example. We've seen chemotherapy, which has been well established for many years, still there as a viable option. And of course, in the precision medicine era, we have seen DNA repair uh, as a really viable target using drugs like Olaparib and Rucaparib. But then take something totally different, like radio ligand therapy. Take a, a therapy that's well established in different diseases like neuroendocrine tumors and bring that forward, uh, pairing it with the dramatic uh, advancements we've seen in PSMA imaging. And I think what we have is a really interesting combination that will allow us to explore uh, therapy options for our prostate cancer patients that we didn't have five years ago. So I think this next five years, we'll have a lot of excitement in taking radio ligand therapy from end stage prostate cancer into earlier and earlier stages. And I'm very confident that it will find a very comfortable place where it improves survival and improves quality of life for many men uh, across the spectrum of prostate cancer. Quite where that ends up, is it just in more advanced CRPC or is it perhaps in hormone sensitive disease? Could it even be in the high risk localized prostate cancer population? I'm not quite sure, but I think it will be a very exciting five years of research upcoming with radio ligand therapy.